and today we're going to be taking a walk up to this place behind me right here. Um, it's variously called Amabaka, which is the name of the actual building, but there's also a ski slope right on top of it called Copen Hill, and that's where we're going today. We're not actually going to ski today, we're going to do a bit of a walk up the hiking trails on the side, and we're also going to meet somebody from the ski slope who's going to talk us through what it's all about up there. So let's get going. Hello and welcome. My name is uh, Lasse and I work here at Coburn Hill. At Coburn Hill we are a, a power plant which is uh, also an, a skiing slope. I work for the skiing slope where we sell uh, events, we sell guided tours, uh, the biggest climbing wall which is attached, attached on the side of the actual building. It has a height of uh, 78 meters. Uh, that also requires that you need to have a special certification to actually be able to climb it. You can actually, as the only place in the world, go on skis from the top up here. Uh, you have a, a length of around 450 meters. And uh, whether you are a novice or you're an expert, you can actually go out here and get fun of it. You can actually train out here. So what is very, very cool about Copen Hill is also that it's free to go out here. So if you have your family, you can actually take our walking route or Garmin track. You could go all the way up to the top, which ends at 85 meters height. It will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your form. Um, from up there, you can actually see out to Sweden. You can see over Øresund. Uh, you can see the bridge. You can see the flights going into the Kastrup airport. Uh, you can also have a full view over the city, which is uh, especially very, very nice at the evening when the sun has gone down and you can see sort of like the skyline. So I recommend that for everyone. We've made it up to the top, as you can see. You can see right behind me down here, all the way over to Sweden and to the airport. Uh, it's a little bit of a hazy day today, so you can't see as far as maybe you can on a clear day. But although I was joking about my fitness levels, it's not that difficult to get up here at all. And it's something I think I'm gonna do quite a bit because it's a, it's a really good way of, of getting some exercise. As you mentioned, this is on the top of a power plant, and we're gonna hear a little bit more about how the power plant works, why it was built, what it does. But for this first part of the video, we're just gonna show you what the ski slope looks like and the exercise side of it, which gives people a really great opportunity when they're living in Copenhagen to be able to ski and to hike and to walk um, on a, an elevated um, hillside, which we don't have a lot of in Denmark at all. I don't think we have anything beyond what you might consider to be a hill here. We certainly don't have mountains. So to be able to have this facility right in the center of Copenhagen is, is a wonderful resource to have. And as, as uh, Lassa said, it is free to walk up here. Uh, you can come up, you can watch the, the sun setting up here. They also have events, um, but it is a brilliant place to go and we're really enjoying it. So. Enjoy a bit more footage of uh, the ski slope up here and uh, the next second part of the video we'll be talking about the power plant itself. One of the things that you notice when you're up here um, walking up the trails at the top of Copen Hill is these beautiful flowers, evergreen trees. They want to make it look like it, you're actually on an alpine um, hillside. And it was a particular thing that the Bjarke Engels group, the, uh, the world famous architects behind the design of Copen Hill, they wanted to make sure that you felt like you were actually on a mountain top when you're up here if you're whether you're hiking or you're skiing and not on top of a power facility that's making energy and is having a very very functional um, purpose so what they've done is they've planted all these flowers they've planted these trees you can hear 
uh, birds singing, you can hear little crickets in the grass and in the flowers down here and you can also see butterflies. Now of course as I say that there are no butterflies around but there were and there's bees, there's everything. You've got a complete ecosystem on the top of a man-made hill in the middle of the capital city of Denmark and you just have to turn around and look back up there and there you can see the steam coming out of the, uh, the, the, the waste energy plant that we're standing on. And then we swivel around and look, oh, look, I'm in an alpine meadow. I just think that this is such a nice touch and it really shows that they have thought about how they're going to design this and make this both a functional space, but also a leisure space for people. Welcome back to part two of the video about Copen Hill and the power plant. In this video we're going to actually have a tour around the power plant that Copen Hill is built on top of. It's a very very interesting place and it is pretty sustainable in what they're doing here. But we're going to take a look around and we're going to hear a lot more about it from um, somebody who works here who will introduce themselves very shortly. So I'm Sune Scheibu. That's pronounced Scheibu. <laughs> and I'm the press officer here at Arx, um, doing the tour of Savannah Bag as well. So, this is the reception area, and this is where you know, the lorries come in, the trucks from, uh, from the five municipalities owning this facility. Uh, this is a residual waste, waste that uh, cannot be recycled, and uh, it's being fed into to this giant silo where it's mixed together, uh, and then afterwards, you know, uh, turned into heat and electricity basically. Yeah, so this is the waste uh, bunker. Uh, this is where all the waste uh, is being put by, you know, the lorries and then, um, and then uh, mixed together uh, by the cranes for, you know, more stable um, uh, incineration afterwards. Um, and there's a lot of waste. <laughs> Well, the idea of, of, of building a, um, a, a power plant with a ski slope on the rooftop in this area is, is, is brilliant, I think, because you know, we have a lot of uh, energy producers in this area. We have um, uh, you know, a, a power plant uh, as our next door neighbor. We have uh, windmills, uh, geothermal uh, energy, all that stuff. And at the same time, we have uh, a small harbour down here, we have um, water skiing uh, uh, area as well, we have go-kart lane, uh, Norma, the world famous restaurant, a lot of uh, places for you know leisure. So this building kind of incorporates both world, both the you know the world, the, the thing about uh, power production and the thing about leisure. Uh, so I, I think it's brilliant. I mean making this not just a, a grey spot on, on the landmark but actually some place that you'd like to go for, you know, for your, in your spare time. So, I mean, if people go out here skiing uh, or out for a cup of coffee and a great view, hopefully they'll get, you know, a bit of knowledge back home about waste management. Because one thing we all have in common is that we produce waste and we have to um, uh, address that and we have to um, uh, to be aware of that uh, in order to reduce the amount of waste being produced and also in order to um, uh, to recycle as much waste as, as possible. We need to be more aware of what's happening to the waste and that's and what a great way to, to do that I mean to build a, a, a plant with a ski slope on the roof. The one that stood out, the one idea that stood out was this one, you know, Big's idea, Bjarg Engel's idea with the ski slope on the rooftop. And that was, you know, everybody was totally agreed on, this is where we're going. This, uh, this is going to be an icon or a beacon for, uh, for Copenhagen. Um, that's what we're aiming for. I hope you enjoyed that video looking around Copen Hill, both on top of the ski slope and down in the power plant. Really delighted to have had the opportunity to go around the power plant because it's not something that everybody gets to do. So big thank you to both Lisa for showing us the actual ski slope part of it and also to Suna for the time that he took to show us around the plant itself. 
If you've enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up for it. And if you're not already subscribing to my channel, uh, please do uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in the future. And until next time, bye for now. Thank you.